Hey guys, um, it's very um, fairly easy to recognize the broadcast domains and the collision domains on the network. Uh, first thing you need to do is learn each um, the role each the network device plays uh, when it comes to um, broadcast and collision domains. First thing that we're gonna try to recognize on this network is uh, what are the broadcast domains here, um, and we're gonna start here with this device. This device is a hub. We said that the hub, each port on a hub belongs to the same network, to the same broadcast domain. This here is a switch. We said that every port on a switch belongs to the same broadcast domain. So, so far we have, we can determine that this device is here. F five PCs, the hub and the switch belong to the same network device. And this interface here, on the router, uh, we said that uh, each interface on the router uh, belongs to one broadcast domain. So this interface must belong to the same broadcast, right? So we could then determine then that, see? this device is here and the interface from this router they all belong to one broadcast domain so we can label that broadcast domain 1 there let's move on the next device that we come uh, to is a router we said that each device each interface on a router belongs to its own broadcast domain Therefore, we can determine that this is a broadcast domain and this is a bro broadcast domain because there are no other devices attached to that interface. I'm sorry, no other network device, such as um, PCs. Uh, now, regarding this interface here, we know that it's a broadcast domain, but let's see how far it goes. We said that every uh, interface on a switch belongs to uh, the same broadcast domain, so we can determine then that these two devices at least and this interface belong uh, to the same broadcast domain. So what about what about the bridge? We said that the bridge, every port on a bridge belongs to the same broadcast domain. Therefore, we can determine that all these devices here and the interface from the network, from the router, belongs to um, belongs to the same broadcast domain. So if we label this, we have broadcast domain number one. We have broad broadcast domain number two. We have, oops, wait a minute. There we go. We have broadcast domain number three. And finally, we have broadcast domain number four. So we can determine then that in this network, for this network, we have four broadcast domains. Now, let's see about um, collision domains. Let me see if I can erase all this. Wait a minute. Here we go. Okay, um, let's go ahead and take a look at the collision domain. We said that each port on a hub belongs uh, to one collision domain. So we can determine right away that uh, at least, at least these devices will be on the same collision domain. But what about the interface from the switch? We said that each interface on a switch belongs to its own collision domain. So this interface must belong to the same uh, collision domain. So we can determine right away that this right here is one collision domain. Each interface, each port on a network, on a switch, belongs to one 
collision domain. It's its own collision domain. So right away we can determine that this must be one another collision domain. This must be another collision domain. And also must be another collision domain. But again, let's see how far it goes. We said that a each interface on a on a router is not only uh, uh, not only belongs to one broadcast domain, but it is also its own collision domain. So this right here is another collision domain, another collision domain, another collision domain, and this will be this here will be the same as this. There's one network, one router uh, connecting to another switch. So that must be another collision domain. Each in each interface on a switch is a its own collision domain, so that must be another collision domain. We said that uh, for a bridge, each interface, each uh, port, it's its own collision domain. Same for a switch, so that's one another collision domain, and that's another collision domain. We will have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten collision domains for this network. I'm not going to label them, but if you count the circles, there are a total of uh, 10 collisions domains. Thanks for watching.